North Korea released Travis King into U.S. custody overnight after holding him for a couple months. Swedish officials took King from North Korea to China, where he was then transferred into U.S. custody. He's now on a plane back to the States. Investigative reporter James Stratton joins us now. James, he is expected to arrive overnight. And Patrick King expected to arrive then at Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas. What is certain, he's coming back to U.S. soil. What's not, why he ran into North Korea in the first place, and what his potential punishment here in the U.S. could be. A soldier from Racine, out of North Korean custody, soon to be back on U.S. soil. The U.S. State Department saying they secured private second class Travis King's release with the help of Sweden. Obviously, we're uh, uh, pleased to have secured his return. We're very thankful for the government of Sweden for their work as the protecting power that they did to help facilitate his transfer back to the United States. Officials insist they provided no concessions to secure King's release. They say King is reportedly in good physical condition. That yes, he was in good spirits, he was in good health, but with respect to his treatment, that's uh, not something I can read out from the podium today. The Deputy Press Secretary for the Pentagon speaking with political director Matt Smith this afternoon, saying King will be reunited with his family. Once he does land on U.S. soil, what happens next with him? You know, we are, uh, of course, going to go through the process first of evaluating him, making sure that he is OK, that he is healthy. Right now, we're really focused on reuniting him with his family. So I just don't have more to forecast at this time. King ran into North Korea July 18th. He had just been released from a South Korean prison on assault charges and was supposed to face disciplinary action in the U.S. at that time. I'm assuming he won't be released from U.S. custody. Is there a potential for military or federal charges here? Well, again, I just don't have anything for you right now. What we are really focused on is the health of um, Private King and making sure that he's reunited with his family at this time. Um, it really took an incredible um, effort and coordination of the interagency to bring Private King home. And James, the other big question is why did North Korea release him? And one official tonight saying North Korea likely determined King had no real value in terms of leverage or information. Another saying they may have decided he was more trouble to keep rather than to release Patrick. James Stratton reporting from the newsroom tonight. James, thank you. 12 News spent the day trying to get in touch with King's family. No one answered at his mother's house in Racine. She hung a sign on her door saying no one was not answering any questions at this time. But in an interview with ABC, a family spokesperson said King's mother is feeling relief. She's overjoyed. Um, she got to hear her son's voice and she was thrilled and uh, just cannot emphasize enough what an impressive accomplishment we think this is getting this done in 71 days.